I'm pretty surprised at how much of a hater the guild is to the healer guy. I've never seen people actively go out and be like, do not party with this guy. This guy sucks. No, L, L, do not. But I thought they make money off the commissions, and this guy's actually really good. I guess he just has a horrible reputation, and he's supposed to be like a healer class, and he can use only low heals, that's why he's looked down upon. But it's looking like he's good at everything. Master of none, maybe, right? Jack of all trades. He seems to have spent a lot of time adventuring. He's good at pretty much everything. He literally one-shot that monster. And then the girl, yeah, she is the girl that we saved in the past. Her hair color changed. I don't know why. Maybe she wanted to, like, look cool for the Mr. Healer guy, but so far... It's mid, right? So far, it's mid, but we need to give it a couple more episodes to cook. I want to see really what this show is all about. Let's begin today's reaction. This is backstory of the true party. This girl is cooked. Couple heads are cut off the Hydra, though. No. Man, you can't even fucking cleanse me? Holy shit, the sealer sucks. <laughs> oh, this, this party is cooked. There is no synergy, bro. This girl is such a bitch, but I guess in this situation when you're supposed to, you know, be fighting some endgame bosses and the healer sucks. Yeah, I'd be mad too. Well, let's do something. Mr. Sparkly Golden Armor doesn't have money to buy a couple of antidotes? Bro, this party is cooked. Why'd you invite him? No, Amiya is not in there, bro. She's too scared. That's very cute. You made him more mad. Nigerundayo! <laughs> He said, fuck it, bro. The hero said, fuck it, I'm out with my golden armor. <laughs> okay. Girl, run. What are you doing? <laughs> the Hydra's really just going to let us leave? This is a pretty... Damn, I, I'm surprised we're, we can just leave like this. I thought the monster would like fucking chase us down, but okay. That whole backstory intro, that was fucking peak. The last episode should have shown me this. Like, like this is the stuff I fucking love in these kind of fantasy shows. It's just, it, it, it's basically just shit going wrong and showing the true nature of like the, what the the cool golden hero is. But like, it's looking like that party was cooked from the fucking beginning, man. Regarding the banishment, which was in fact the start of a new voyage. Jesus Christ. We got fired. We got banished, bro. The axe is moving in slow motion as it should, but it looks like blue lock animation here. Look at the axe falling. Damn, bro. Just sliding. My fault? The leader is incompetent and didn't even think about bringing the fucking antidotes. You, I don't even know what the fuck you do. You already got hit by the Hydra. You're down for the count. The mage girl is a literal child that does not have the mental, like the mental capacity to fight. This entire party is fucking cooked. How is this one guy's fault? They stayed up until dawn? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying right now. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen in this party situation where peer pressure is involved. Do you think the girl is gonna side with the guy that's about to get kicked out? <laughs> You're a dumbass for getting hit. Hmm. Oh. I know. I, I know the little girl got peer pressure. She, she's weak. She's weak-willed. <sighs> Revenge plot. Revenge plot. That, that girl can get fucked up, too. Yeah, imagine she left with them and started a party. That'd be nice. But uh, we're fired. We're banished. They should have shown us that last episode. Six years ago. Flashback. He has been adventuring for a long time. 
Six years ago, he was already that bad. Sacrifice. Yo, the people here fucking suck. Yo, do something. You deserve this. How the hell the three like gigantic trolls can't even like kill him? They scratch him barely. These three idiots immediately get slaughtered. So is that, is that just showing that Laos has incredible physiques and he can dodge everything and everyone else just fucking sucks? Deserved. Deserved. This is a girl. The blue hair girl we saved, but she's not blue yet. Bro, pre ordering right now. Pre order. Get your secure your pre order right now. Come on. Beat them off with the wooden stick. That's actually really impressive that he beat like a party of goblins that have like metal swords with that fucking wooden like stick. Did he just get hit? No. No, he did. He did get bonked on the back. They take our credits too? He gets nothing. Bro could save an entire town, and somehow the credits are taken away. Holy shit. Bruh. <laughs> Chill. No diddy. Injury. Heal. Heal. Taking a long ass time. Wow. Yeah, all he can do is heal fucking scrapes, bro. He heals like... Like you fall on like pavement of like a scratch on your skin. That's what he heals only. Carpet burns too. Oh, that was a good way to do backstory. She hurts for you because you're so pathetic right now. Trauma slash pity riz. Trauma pity riz right now, bro. This child is so sad at his state of affairs. She's like, I gotta save your ass. Just wait a couple years. Yeah. I'll protect you, Onisan. Bye bye. But she did. Oh. I guess like I, I don't know maybe like in this world like nobles can't be, be uh, adventurous it's like beneath them but that's why she dyed her hair blue she changed she basically like slipped out changed her whole identity and became an adventurer that's a long walk even if they given us a ride back home god damn Who's this master? Yo, 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 wait, 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 how did you just find a master? I feel like this character is getting just like slid underneath, bro. Like, like, what the hell? I want to slide underneath that, though. But I, I guess she's one of the few people that actually recognizes his talent. Red hair. Who, who the hell is this guy? Bro, he's just getting coached. Bro. He, he just probably, these, these, pro these dudes are probably like the best of their own domains. Like the best fucking knight swordsman, the best magician. They're just like coaching him in silence. Did that guy have an afro, by the way? I can't tell. He's got Megane, though. He's got two glasses. His head, there's more shade over it at the top, even though his hairline is over here. So maybe he had an afro or something. But he's basically being taught in swordsmanship and magic by probably, presumably, like two really strong people.
そうしてようやく一人だし This guy again Oh boy But his clout was so bad Why did he take him at this point? I don't know Maybe his redemption happened Maybe his like clout got better Who knows? Actually He's a cheap motherfucker and he just wants money and it, we were told last episode that like it's not an uh, equivalent share of the loot, right? So maybe he thought that he just needed a random healer, anyone could do, who cares, and let's just take him and then give him like a very shitty cut of all the money, right? I, I, that was discussed last episode. He still remembers that girl though. That's the same girl, bro. Manga reactions today, man. A lot of manga reactions. Surely nothing bad will happen if we go to the lower levels, right? これが転移人ですか。初めて見ました。どこの迷宮されてすぐの頃、当時の魔術師が設置したものらしいんだけど、詳しいことはよく。Not just an elevator, teleportation thing and you need another teleportation circle. 街の中に作ってくれれば楽なのに。True. They can't? In Mushoku Tensei, they can. They're scary. Ancient technology, basically. Oh, they did the, the, the same fucking sound effects again. Wow. Amazing. Now that's filler animation. この辺りは来る魔獣もそれなりに強いから気をつけて。ダメだ、なるせな。Physical attacks on him だ。実態を持たない。いわゆる霊体でできた魔獣だから。本当だ。よく見ると体が透けてますね。攻撃魔法が。いいえ、私なら倒せます。How you gonna punch this? なるせな。What? She got magic? She got a different attack that can hit, land a hit? He really just likes staring at us. Okay. And he's hiding. He's hiding. What? Prana. A spirit energy that dwells inside their bodies. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Anybody can do this. Anybody has can do this. Prana. Haki. Okay. I wonder how much Prana control Laos has. Probably a lot, but this is a way to kind of like imbue your fist with Prana, your mana, your ki, your haki. This is the way to damage low he has, basically. Cool. Oh, it's okay. It's more just like, you know, rashes. He's good at healing those. It's a healing Pokeball. How many times can he use this? It amplifies his heal. Okay. I mean, if he can just keep infinitely using this, that's pretty useful. I wonder if it's like a one time thing, though. Mm. Bro is so shit, he needs an amplifier. Bro needs item to be good. Oof, bro sucks. I ain't hear any of your dumbasses criticizing fucking. What's that guy? Thousand tricks. Fucking grieving souls. Strange grief. You guys are like, oh, peak! Peak! My hero! Masayuki! What? What is this bias? 
You motherfuckers don't got it. You're all a bunch of hypocrites. Just picking whoever you want to hate whenever you want. No principle stands here. Oh. Oh. My daddy. She's the best part about this. I, I do love how just... I love how she just is so shameless about the money. That's, that's the best part about this anime so far. Get that bag, girl. Yeah. Street fight, street fight. Get in there. A mage is trying to start a street fight? Why? This city just has a bunch of trouble? It's basically looking like Failure Frame or like, you know, Isekai Shikaku where... You know how lore-wise, they, they all were just like gathering with shitty peoples? This is the same thing. This this place, this... Every adventure here just sucks. They're just evil, pitiful, just petty, just pieces of shit. Alright. But why this city specifically? Yeah, we did. <laughs> That's embarrassing when, like, the shop owner, like, the chef, like, the restaurant owner says, like, You sure you can afford all this food, kid? You're a kid. How old is she? 15? 16? Uh, tower. Is that a prison? What is it? Long, tall, pony glyph? All around town. There's a lot of them. What's inside? Is it just bricks? Is there anything hollow inside? What do you mean? You're, you're making it. What is the structure? Someone just building this shit? Secretly? An agent for an agent who is an agent for an agent and... <laughs> My brother's uncle's co-worker's aunt's little sister's stepbrother's pets owner's daycare's third lost sibling... It, it, it just keeps going. You're never gonna find this guy. He's just mystery man. <laughs> Very cautious. Based on the structure, just an empty looking long rectangle shape, right? No windows, no nothing. And they are, do they exist on the borders? If there's a pattern of behavior where they basically exist out at, like it surrounds the town, some sort of like power control system, some sort of grid, some sort of Perhaps, like, uh, things to, like, make a barrier to trap and encapsulate. That's what I can theorize at now, right now. I don't know. It's just, there's a mystery. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wall around the city. I wish they built a wall around the city, but there's no wall. Maybe this is supposed to, like, light up and it's gonna basically have, like, a barrier, like, electric zapping thing, something to protect the city? I thought it'd be more sinister than to be like a guard against, like, you know, a replacement for a wall. Yeah, all around. There's six of them. That things will activate. The pillars will activate. Also, what did you say? Yeah. In times of battle. How do you stop outsiders from invading? Bro, our city's already been invaded. Bro. We're literally living with the ops. Everyone sucks here. You just let them in. That's what they're doing right now, bro. Maybe there's some good people around, but most people I think suck. It is an adventurous guild city, so I mean, that does make sense. Interesting mystery though. Makes you think. Bye bye. You wanna share the bed? I think she wanted to do something more there, but she pussied out. Just one girl. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where that girl is, huh? Yeah, thanks to you, girl. I had hope to keep moving forward, and then a random girl showed up and, like, joined my party. 
It can't be that girl though. Yeah, wonder where she's at. Look at them toes. Not even wagging. And you again. New healer. Ooh, Lyra, bro. She's a gal. Also, it's looking like the hero only cares about creating a harem, huh? I, I think this guy only cares about having a harem. He already has a lolly and a bitchy girl. So now we have like an Onesan, like a MILF, man. He's like collecting like, you know, a trope for each harem member. Not a very good impression, huh? Dude, the healer wasn't the problem. Why you couldn't slay the Hydra? Nothing is gonna fucking change, bro! Oh, yay. Post credit scene? Post credit scene? The sleeping princess is inside the city. I'm gonna assume Narsena is a sleeping princess. That's the guild leader hater guy. Are they in this structure right now? This guy hates him too, huh? I'm thinking like this this area seems very circular. No, yeah, it's circular. It's not it's not a fucking rectangle. I was thinking like are they inside one of those towers, but I don't think so. Why? So this goes beyond just like petty revenge or w whatever. Like, like I, I thought there were people being like very outwardly hostile, trying to really push Laos away last episode. There is actually lore. There's like a really important reason why everyone is out to get him. And this old man is saying, we're almost out of time. If Laos is here, then something won't happen. That something will probably have to do with the white towers that we see around the city. Oh no, he seems very important though. Hmm. There's a reason to hate him, I guess. And that is today's episode. I think uh, today's episode is a little bit better. I enjoyed the whole backstory here. I, I, I mean, the only reason that I started watching this is for like this kind of element where you get kicked out from like a shitty party and you want like a revenge story, right? That was pretty entertaining. Obviously, this, this dude's a fucking asshole. He's blaming everything on Laos, even though he himself ignored the antidotes and our DPS sucks, right? And then the mage is just a stupid lolly that has no, you know, uh, strength of her own. And she just, you know, be put, being like peer pressure to also like bully Laos. They're not gonna fucking slay the Hydra. The new healer's not gonna do shit. I, I, I want the new healers to join us. I, it would really be sad if the new healer is also just as shitty as like the leader of the Lightning Blades. But it's kind of funny how like you know this guy just has golden hair, blonde hair, just goes like golden armor, blonde hair, goes around like collecting like waifu of each different trope to collect his harem. But today's episode was it's all right. You know, I'm not really watching this for the action. Like, like the, the, the the action, the animation, it's pretty ass. I'm just here for like the revenge story if it's ever gonna happen and see like what's gonna happen. And I want to see uh this guy get corrected. I basically want to see him get corrected. I want the, the shitty hero to go in and just get clapped. That's basically what I'm here for, too. But that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, though, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.